So hi there. I hope you've got your first round of the um, neck done. I'll just show you what mine looks like here. Just the um, four little corners. So there's three single crochet in each stitch right there and that's what makes the four corners. So I just wanna show you one row, one or two rows, the first two rows actually, the odd and the even row. So this would be the even row, I'm calling it row two, of how the mesh stitch works. works. So I've chained one and turned, and I'm going to single crochet right into the first stitch. Then I'm going to chain one, skip one, and go into the next space. Just as simple as that. Now I'll chain one again, and go into the next space. Now, what I noticed is that on these even rounds, the single crochet worked out to be the first stitch of that chain three of the single crochet corner. So when I call it the middle or the corner, I'm always referring to that this is the middle stitch. It's the second single crochet when you put three together in one corner. And so now on these even rows, you'll end the mesh stitch with a single crochet and you'll go ahead and just start putting three single crochets into the corner. On every round of increase, it's important that you get three single crochets right into that middle um, single crochet from the row below. Now, since we started with a single crochet over here, we're going to end with a single crochet in this stitch too to keep it evenly balanced. This is for the even rows. Now I'll start back up with the mesh stitch. I chain one, I skip one, I single crochet. I chain one, I skip one, and here I am to the corner. So the first stitch is a single crochet. The next one I will go ahead and I'll put three single crochet into that corner. And then I'll add one more or start the mesh, sti mesh stitch with a single crochet just to keep it even and continue on and do this whole round. And it just happens to work out on the even rounds that you do end with a single crochet. Uh, next to the chain three space that needs to go in. So here we are again. Here's that corner. I'm going to work three into that corner. Hopefully you're seeing this all right. And now I will single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one. Here I am right back to the very last corner. I'm gonna put my three single crochets into the corner. Now I also say for beginners, if you really do have a hard time understanding when you come, sometimes when you turn the work, it's hard to see which stitch is which. Right after you make that second single crochet in the corner, go ahead and slip a stitch marker under there. And that way you know you're always hitting the middle stitch. Here we go, start with a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, and we're to the very last stitch. Okay, now this is for the odd rows. I'm chaining one, and I'm turning my work. And now this time you'll notice how the mesh stitch um, works out actually kind of more perfectly wherein you don't have to add an extra single or you know work, it just goes chain. We're chaining over and skipping that first and we're going right into the corner and working our three single crochets to increase. And now this time, when we are finished and ready to move on, we're gonna go ahead and chain, skip, and go into the next space. And look at this. We are all lined up, and this is a chain space, and we're always chaining over a chain space, 
and working into a single crochet space. That is what I've come to know and be called in some of the vintage crochet books that I have. It's called the mesh stitch. Um, you might know, know it by another name, but it's become pretty handy for me to just call it that so that you'll know a mesh, mesh stitch. Oh, I have a hard time saying that word. Um, it's just simply a single crochet in a chain and you are always single crocheting into a single crochet. Here we go, I'm skipping over that because there's my chain and it takes you right to this single crochet space and we're right back on the pattern again. And that way we know that we are always working into a single crochet. Okay, so I think I have you increase for till row nine and then I'll be back and I'll show you how to join for the armholes. 